Welcome to this remote control quick tip. In this quick tip, we're going to talk about how you change the settings on a Runcam V2. Now we've already done the review video for this Runcam, so if you'd like to see that, then the link's on the screen right now. But in this one, we're going to talk about how you change the settings. Now there are a couple of ways that you can access the settings on this camera. One gives you a very superficial access to things that you can change, and the other then gives you a much deeper access to all of the settings. Now to access them we're going to use both a Wi-Fi application, uh, we can use that on either an Android tablet or an Apple device. If you search for Runcam in the app stores on whichever device you have you should find the application. And then the other way we're going to do it is actually look at the menu that's on here via the video out at the back of the camera. To do that you're going to need the two cables that came as part of the kit the AV out cable that plugs into the USB port at the back and I've used the little RCA adapter that just plugs into the end of that cable which means I can plug it into anything that has an RCA in and actually my old ground station the screen in that is perfect for this so what I'll do when we get to that point is I'll connect it that way. So to power up Wi-Fi, we'll do the easiest one first. Um, the easiest way to do it is for you to press and hold the power button, the camera powers up, then you press Wi-Fi once and then the light starts flashing. That means it's ready to be bound to. Now what you need to do then is on your application, you need to find the Wi-Fi signal from the camera and it'll be called something like runcam2 underscore with a load of numbers. So you click on the Runcam 2, click connect. So you're connected over Wi-Fi. And then what you need to do is make sure that you have the app installed. So it's called Runcam. So we're going to open the Runcam app. First time you connect up to it, um, it might ask you for the password. The default password is 12345678900. And then once you're connected, as you can see here, we kind of have live video out. Now there is the ability to change a few settings on here when the camera catches up, um, but those settings are pretty basic. So it's things like the resolution, it's whether or not, it's the white balance settings, and things like slow motion, which is the frame rate. If I click on the cog, then we have some then we have some more settings, but again it's only power supply, frequency, date stamp, image flip, Wi-Fi settings, format the card, reset to default parameters, or uh, version information and that's all that we have through the application which is pretty disappointing. Now what you really want to do of course is you want access to all of the features of the camera and to do that what we have to do then is we'll turn Wi-Fi off and then you have to plug the cable into the back of the camera Plug in your RCA connector and of course if you have it connected to your FPV system this is how it's going to be connected anyway or if you're using it like this you then got to find something that will have an RCA jack. So let me just grab my old ground station and plug this into the screen and I'll show you this next bit which using the menus you can get to all of the features of the camera. So here's the Runcam connected to the ground station. So we have the AV out cable connected into the RCA adapter that we got with the Runcam connected into our ground station. If I just power the ground station up, then we'll just get static on the screen. We get a nice blue screen. If I then turn the camera on, then we actually get an image on the screen. So let me just zoom in up here and then what we'll do is we'll actually go through and I'll show you the settings that are available through this method. I do hope that Runcam updates the firmware and the applications on Android and iOS that we've just looked at so you can access all of this information actually in the apps themselves without having to go through this rigmarole of connecting up to an FPV out or um, an RC transmitter. Of course if you're using your run cam with FPV equipment then this is a lot easier but if you're like me and you tend to use these cameras as a standalone FPV high definition uh, camera recorder then this is a little bit of a pain. So let's zoom in on the screen I'll show you what kind of options we get using this method. 
So to get into the menu system, we just press and hold the Wi-Fi button. It takes us into photo first, and press it again, takes you into menu. To go down and select each of them, a quick press of the power button will rotate through everything. It only takes you one way, so then it goes around to the top and back. And then to select and change things, you press Wi-Fi. So at the moment you can see here we can do things like movie size, which we could do on the apps. Uh, but here you can also turn on and off the wide angle, whether or not the digital image stabilization is turned on, whether the buttons beep, whether it loops recording, whether it starts recording automatically as soon as power supplied, whether or not the uh, image is flipped if you mount the camera upside down for something like a dash cam, whether or not the G sensor is enabled, which should hopefully try and figure out how the cameras orientated and um, sort that out for the video. Power saving, we, how long it is before it turns off. It's three minutes here without anything happening. Metering mode's a really important one. I do wish this one was in the application. So this is how it handles light. If I press Wi-Fi, you can actually see we have three options. You can either have center, average, or spot. And that is how much of the image has been taken into account when it's calculating the exposure. So this is how you change that. So if I press Wi-Fi again, that'll take us back out press power to continue down. We can change the exposure levels, whether we want it lighter or darker, and then TV mode. Now, I'm a UK guy, so obviously NTSC is not what I want. I want PAL, so I'm gonna press Wi-Fi to go into the menu. I'm gonna press the power button to select PAL, and then Wi-Fi to come out. And then we got English language, and then the system stuff too. So that is how you get into all of the details. You do need to have the camera either connected up to an FPV transmitter or as we have it here, just plug it into anything that will have an RCA input and then you can access the menu and change everything that you need. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.